There are lots of different colors for skin. I have questions for you about these pictures of different children. After I read the question, I want you to point to the picture that fits the story. Are children colorblind in America? Show me the smart child. Show me the mean child. Can you show me the dumb child? Show me the nice child. <laughs> is bias measurable even at an early age? Why is she the bad child? Because she's black, black. And why is he the ugly child? Because he, he looks like he white. Why is he the dumb child? Because she has dark brown skin. Why is she the bad child? Because she makes fun of everybody else's skin color. How much do kids learn from what they see and hear from adults? Show me the child who has the skin color most adults like. And show me the child who has the skin color most adults don't like. These are questions that we, along with CNN's Soledad O'Brien and a team of psychologists hired by CNN, spent months investigating through tests, interviews with children and their parents. But they're questions that have been asked for decades. The first doll study ignited controversy in the 1940s, when psychologists Kenneth and Mamie Clark pioneered studies in the effects of segregation in schools by asking African-American kids to choose between black and white dolls. The so-called doll test found black kids overwhelmingly preferred white over black. Those results were at the center of the landmark 1954 Supreme Court case, Brown versus the Board of Education, that desegregated American schools. Wondered, where are we today? How do kids see differences in race? What we discovered might shock you, but first, how we got there. Skin color, child skin color estimate. Okay, yeah. We asked renowned child psychologist and University of Chicago researcher Dr. Margaret Beale Spencer to design a pilot study for CNN and analyze the results. Our children are always near us, you know, uh, because we are a society. And what we put out there, kids report back. <laughs> you ask the question, they'll give you the answer. While the country is much more diverse today than in the 1940s, the children in this project are from two age groups and two races, white and black to better allow comparison to the original doll study. First, white children as a whole responded with a high rate of what researchers call white bias, identifying the color of their own skin with positive attributes and darker skin with negative attributes. Show me the dumb child. Dumb child. <laughs> okay, why is she the dumb child? Because she has black skin. Show me the mean child. Why is he the mean child? Because he's brown. Show me the bad child. Why is he the bad child? Because he's black. Okay. Can you show me the doll that you like best or that you'd like to play with? This one. This one. I like that one. Show me. This one. Me the doll that is the nice doll. And why is that the nice doll? He's white. And can you show me the doll that looks bad? Okay. And can you give. And why does that look bad? Because it's black. And then which was the, um, the ugly child? So show me the smart child. Okay, why is she the smart child? Because she was pregnant. Okay. Show me the mean child. Okay, why is she the mean child? Because she's way darker. Okay. Show me the good child. Why is she the good child? Because I think she looks like me. Okay. Show me the bad child. Why is she the bad child? Because she's a lot darker. Show me the ugly child. Why is she the ugly child? Because she's like, um, a lot darker. Cuál muñeco es feo? Cuál muñeco es malo? ¿Cuál muñeco es malo? Este. ¿Y por qué? 
porque, bueno, este es moreno y este blanco. ¿Cuál único es feo? ¿Por qué? Porque a mí no me gusta el color café. ¿Cuál muñeco te gusta más? Este. ¿Cuál muñeco es bueno? Este. ¿Y por qué? Porque no me dan miedo los vuelos porque tengo más confianza con los, si los un poco más así como este. No tengo mucha confianza. ¿Cuál muñeco? Este. ¿En qué? Why is she the bad?